Greetings ladies and gents, in this video we're going to be perusing all of the exotic adept primary weapons available from completing the challenge modes in the King's Fall raid. Now there are three challenges in King's Fall for each of the boss fights, the War Priest, Golgoroth and finally Oryx. So that's a total of three chances to grab yourselves a raid ornament and an exotic adept primary pew pew. If you'd like to know how to successfully complete these challenges, we have you covered with a rather handy guide and you can find the link to that in the description. Guardians, let us begin. First we have the Void Firing Doom of Kelchis. Chelchis. How do you pronounce this? Chelchis. I'm sorry, what? Chelchis. I beg your pardon? Chelchis. Okay. Well, it's Greek. The people or things in someone or something's path. Then we have the Will of Light. This weapon deals bonus damage against taken enemies. That's the intrinsic perk. The linear compensator. More predictable recoil. Slight boost to range and impact. More recoil. Accurized ballistics. More range and impact. Increased recoil. And field choke, ladies and gentlemen. More range and impact. Increased recoil. Next, we have a repeating perk for King's Fall weapons. Cocoon. When stowed for a short time, this weapon weapon is automatically reloaded from your reserves and indeed it is let's have a look at it out in the fields put it away use a different weapon and boom we've got a full complement in our magazine there isn't that nice it is hand loaded this weapon is effective at an extended range as well as lightweight when held this weapon grants plus two character agility small bore increased range and stability slower reload reduced magazine size and finally full auto this weapon can be fired in full auto mode looks a little bit like something that would be wrapped up in newspaper and served with chips you want salt and vinegar? Let's have a look closer out in the field. It's void damage, it's full auto, and it minces taking enemies from afar. What more could you want? I don't know, maybe Smite of Merane, a solar firing pulse rifle with a will of light, again the intrinsic perk, as well as linear compensator, accurized ballistics and field choke, once again, a repeating pattern with these King's Fall raid primaries, and of course, Cocoon, that's not old people sitting on a boat waiting for aliens, it's hand loaded. This weapon is effective at an extended range again, and lightweight, we like lightweight because it's the opposite of being fat. Reinforced barrel is increased range, reduced stability, and firefly, ladies and gents, Firefly on a pulse rifle. I mean, who wouldn't want that? That's basically a thundercloud of fun sweeping over the nation and raining down all the fun you could possibly imagine. Let's have a look at it out in the field, shooting at things again. Let's see how we do with these creepy crawlies. Oh, it's pretty. Look at that. It's a celebration. Order the champagne and the pinata. I'm extremely happy because explosions. <laughs> Moving on to the arc dealing anguish of Dryston, ladies and gentlemen linear compensator, accurized ballistics and field choke as always as well as cocoon stowing the weapon for a short time will automatically reload from your reserves. Then we've got fitted stock if you want some extra stability on your weapon. Lightweight, slip on a dress, move faster, give us a twirl and we have braced frame, increase the stability, reduced magazine size and finally crowd control. Kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a very short time indeed. We're continuing the appearance of the haddock of death the aqua kind of marine life uh, from hell appearance which is nice look at look at this just chew through these taken enemies with a bit of crowd control and the will of light perk there for taken enemies recoil is a bit nasty on this auto rifle in all honesty but zoli's bane how about that a hand cannon with smart drift control how about that accurized ballistics more range and impact field choke again our favorite as well as cocoon mm, put it away get more stuff isn't it great hand loaded weapon is effective at extended range lightweight again it keeps coming back reinforced barrel though increased range reduced stability and finally life leech three rapid kills with this weapon heals a small amount and starts helping health regeneration. Hmm, let's hurt ourselves. Let's have low health and get three kills and get this life stealer business to get a bit of health and some uh, recovery there. That could be useful if the hand cannon wasn't as slow firing as it is perhaps, but it looks nice, doesn't it? You might want to put that on your mantelpiece and show all the guests at Christmas. Anyway, 
That, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of the video. Those are all four of the exotic Adept primaries available by completing the challenge modes in the King's Fall Raid. I've been Story Machine. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, then please slap the indicator of the upward thumb now. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my raid team for such a glorious raid experience. So that's a huge shout out to Just Jason, Adio, Epic Wub Noises, Cardza, Charles and Adam. You fellas are top banana. Thanks for watching folks, take care of yourselves and don't forget to be excellent to each other.